So you may have noticed that I haven't posted a video in the past couple of weeks. I've been trying to create a better deconvolution tool that incorporates the actual point spread function of an image into the tool and have it do something akin to solution. I think I've found a breakthrough using a more complicated type of neural network. Welcome to Deep Sky Detail. This is going to be a quick update video with some exciting news at the end. Whenever I've been motivated, I do work a 9 to 5 job after all, I've been working on a new model to improve AstroSharp. It will be a non-blind deconvolution tool where you can input a PSF and have it try to deconvolve your image. I have no idea yet if it will work, but I've seen progress in its training which gives me hope. And I think the model is different enough that it deserves its own program. AstroSharp right now works well. It is a relatively deep neural network. It has multiple hidden layers, but it is what I would call a simple feedforward model. Because of its simplicity, it doesn't deal all that well with misshaped stars. So if there is coma or tracking errors, they're still present after sharpening. It just doesn't have the ability to correct everything. And that's where the new model comes in. You may have heard of generative AI, Rest assured, this is not generative AI. However, gener generative AI often uses something called adversarial training. Basically, the model that is supposed to deconvolve the image fights with another model that tries to detect whether the image looks like a deconvolved image. If the other model detects something weird, it will tell the first model. In other words, it's like a game of cat and mouse. The deconvolving model makes an image and sends it to the detection model. If the detection model is tricked, it receives feedback and is told to do better. If the detection model isn't tricked, it tells the deconvolving model you're doing a bad job, do better. The detection model has examples of blurry images and their unblurred counterparts to figure out what a good deconvolved image should look like. The deconvolution model has the blurry image and its deconvolved image using the PSF, actually several images that have been deconvolved using different parameters, in order to create a better deconvolved image. Another difference is that the deconvolving model is a pretty complicated convolutional neural network, which allows it to understand the relationship between pixels. It doesn't all flow from one convolution layer to the next either. It's more complicated, and some layers feed into other layers further down in the model to help it learn better. But what does it all mean? Well, look at this. See the top left image here? That's the input image of the model. The bottom is the real image. The right hand images are part of the input from the blurry image. The model is doing a pretty good job. It's able to fix star shapes with the training data. Training is going well, but I will need a while to perfect it. For example, I have overfit the model and it doesn't generalize well yet. To new, to new images. I'm not sure how long that will take. I've been posting updates on Buy Me A Coffee. The link is in the description. If you'd like to help me keep doing this project, consider supporting me over there. I can't promise it will work, but fingers crossed and thanks for watching.